guys i bought a red clawed crab but i can't lie as soon as i put the little guy in my fish tank i realized i made a very big mistake yeah let's talk about it before we start please remember to like and subscribe it really helps me out and i'm just trying to grow this channel man now i went to the fish shop and as per usual i just walked around the whole store and i walked past the red clawed crabs and i always walk past them and i look at them for a little bit and then i just carry on doing my thing but this time around one of them really caught my eye they had like this really big one and i don't know in my head i was like yo a little one might get bullied in my tank but this big one he can really look after himself in my fish tank and i can't lie in that moment i kind of decided that i wanted to get this crab it was kind of an impulse buy and if i'm going to keep it real impulse buying in this hobby is a real danger i mean you could just be in the fish shop you see a fish that you like and you just think oh my god i need to get it and you buy it you come home and then you realize the fish you bought is not compatible with the other fish in your fish tank yeah that's happened to me a few times i can't lie and the thing is for me like i've had a red clawed crab before and he was thriving um the way that one actually died is it escaped long story short when i got my new filter the pipes coming into the tank it kind of stopped me from closing the lid properly and the small gap the crab utilized it to climb out and ended up getting lost he couldn't get back in and i ended up finding him right next to my plant and he was just dried out and i don't know i was kind of confused i thought he would be all right because crabs can live out of water but i don't know he must have been out for like a day or two and yeah he killed the poor guy but anyway because i had one before and because the reason it died was because of an escape thing and now my tank is escape proof i thought it should be fine so i, I went ahead and bought this red clawed crab so i brought it home and I put it in my fish tank and it started looking around everywhere and oh it looked so cool man it was just crawling sideways and that and it was picking up the little bits of dirt on the floor and just eating it and honestly i was there for a good 10 minutes just watching the crab it was so fascinating to see now at one point it found the intake of my um, filter and it started climbing up and i just quickly double checked as well that my tank was still escape proof i basically used a few sponges to close up all the gaps because of course these crabs can live out of water and i've got other fish that can potentially jump out of those little gaps so yeah i made a video on how to make your tank escape proof anyway if you want to watch that i'll put it up here somewhere but yeah i was fairly confident that the crab would be okay it wouldn't escape however i still didn't realize the mistake i made you see i walked off to do something real quick i thought i'd just let the crab explore the area in there and when i came back i saw the crab right next to the cave and not just any cave it was lily's cave my more eel and that's when it hit me i was like oh my god the first time around when i had this crab i didn't have my more eel back then i have no idea whether them two are gonna be okay i mean these red clawed crabs their pincers they can grab hard like that particular one pinched me quite hard when it was in the bag i didn't want to use a net because i thought it might get tangled in the net or whatever so i just quickly put my hand in and scooped it out and the little guy pinched my finger man it hurt so bad so i was really worried that if lily comes towards it and i don't know sees it as food or whatever but it might pinch Lily, might hurt her, or you know, I wasn't really sure if Lily could hurt the crab because it got its armor and that. But yeah, I was freaking out, people. I was just looking and I'm thinking, oh my god, what am I supposed to do? And the crab actually went inside the cave as well, and I was honestly holding my breath. I was thinking, oh no, what's about to happen? And then Lily poked her head out, and I was a bit confused. I was thinking, okay, so you don't care about a crab coming into the cave and that? And she put her head back in, and the crab came back out. At this point, I was kind of confused. I wasn't really sure what to think of it but i thought you know what let me just see how it goes and i was literally sitting there for a good half an hour people and the crab i think it went inside the cave one more time and then he came out again and he just carried on exploring the rest of the tank now i know at this point that was very risky but i decided to just leave it because i don't know i felt like if i take the crab out and put it in my small tank it might have been a bit too stressful for it if i am going to move it then i might as well do it in a few days but honestly people over the next few days there was no incidents every time i put in food the crab came out and it had some of the food and it did go into lily's cave every now and then but it never really touched lily the only problem is every time i feed this eel she never really comes out fully so it's almost impossible to see her full body apart from when i feed her bloodworms the only thing is during that particular period of time i didn't have any bloodworms and i had to wait until the weekend until i can go to pets at home and buy some more so yeah i basically had to wait that like five days before i could get the bloodworms and check lily's body properly and and thankfully she was okay so it wasn't a definite answer on that whether they can live together or not but it was a good sign that there was no signs of fighting or anything like that but people there was still one other side that i was kind of concerned about you see the only question we answered so far is that the crab is not going to attack my mori eel and that's all good however when it comes to crabs and shrimps and all of that they mold and after 
the mold the shells are very soft you see i had a massive bamboo shrimp before and the guy molded and literally within a day or two he was gone my rope fish attacked it and i think my cynodontus lucipinus attacked it sorry cynodontus petricola they both just ate the bamboo shrimp after they molded so that was the last thing i was kind of worried about i was hoping because the crab has its pincers that it might be able to defend itself and scare off any potential predators that might to eat it um after it molds but it was literally just a waiting game and i had to wait for two weeks two weeks later the crab finally molded i saw the shell um i took it out and it would look really cool in that um, and I looked around the tank and I, I couldn't see the crab and I thought to myself well let me not overthink this let me give it a bit of time it was in the morning so the light wasn't fully on yet and I'm not gonna feed them till like 5 p.m. or something like that so I just thought to myself let me wait until then and then I can start thinking about whether this crab is still here or not and yeah 5 p.m. came around I fed the fish and the crab was nowhere to be seen and I honestly looked everywhere people I looked in all the little caves and the crab even had this one corner that it always chilled in and it wasn't there i checked on the inside of the fish tank where um it sometimes used to climb up there and just chill in that bit that was like the outside bit for it and it was nowhere to be seen well here are the things that i learned from this experience if you do want to get a crab that has pincers that could potentially grab some fish or attack them think about what's in your tank first don't ever impulse buy people it's literally one of the worst things you can do like i'll keep it real as you can see i suffer from the same problem but if you really can't help yourself in the shop then at least try to do as much research as possible in the shop before you actually buy that fish just so you are fully prepared so in conclusion in those two weeks that i had the red clawed crab it didn't attack my mori eel but it looks like my mori eel or something else in my tank definitely attacked the crab after it molded and it was in a vulnerable state so yeah people that was a failed experiment what do you think people should i get another small one and try it out in my small fluval flex 57 i feel like it could have a happy life in there it'll be like the time i bought the freshwater hermit crab for that tank if you want to check out that video then click right here